Hey there, everybody. It's me, Carolee, and we are back in the kingdom of the hamsters for another episode of Hamster on Rails. We are going to jump straight in to desert level 13, which is where we left off last time. Let's take a look at what we've got. Lots of tall walls on this one. Looks like we've got a treasure chest this level. All right, well, what we do like to start out with is getting in anything that is non-negotiable. So let's take a look here. We have so many doors. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I bet a lot of these are connected too. We have one split track, we have three levers to work with, and five buttons. So just out of curiosity, let's set a button down and uh, see what's connected here. Okay. So these first three gates around us are connected. And this gate is also connected to those first two. Interesting. Okay. Uh, those two gates are connected. Oh boy, this is really gonna, <laughs> this is really gonna make us think. Wow, okay, what about, okay, and those two are connected. Those three are connected. And those two are connected. Oh, three, okay. Oh man, you guys, this is gonna take some brain work. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here and see what our non-negotiables are. We do have a few places here. Uh, with straight track coming in and out of this gate. Uh, we definitely, without a doubt, have to have an incline here. So we'll go ahead and put that in. That goes up. Is that our exit? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's going to be straight up to our exit. It does have some room on the sides there, but I think uh, by that point we'll be pretty much done with everything is really going to take some thinking, you guys. All right, so we're going to need another incline here. And then we have to decide if we're going straight first or if we're going to the right first. All right, what else, what else do we have that has to be? Uh, whoops, let's get our cursor down here. We have another area here that has to be an incline. And that's going to be our last inclines, so um, I hope we don't have any more hills after that. All right, but we do have some non-negotiable places leading to and from that, and it's pretty much common sense by now that these go straight across from one gate to the next. We have a key here, and what is this going to do? This little area here looks like we're going to have to circle around. Unless there's something else that we don't know about. Uh, but we'll, we'll assume that. Alright, so if we put in a curved piece here and it turns clockwise, we, ne we just need it one turn to get us back out. Um, we'll go ahead and have this opened up a little bit. A lot of times we do need to fit some buttons or something in there. So we'll keep that opened. Open up just a little bit and we can shorten it down if we need to later if we run out of pieces somewhere else. So for this piece, it's starting in that position. One clockwise turn will take it so it can get us back out, which means we will need one lever after we get in here. Turn that. We will put a connection on it. Hello? <laughs> okay. Oh, it wasn't letting me move the cursor afterward. Alright, so that's going to turn it. And that should cover the key area, which means we will be coming back out the way that we came in on this side. So we are going to have to 
I think we try to get all of the tracks set first and then work on figuring out the buttons. Because boy oh boy, <laughs> it's gonna be something. Um, let's see here. So we've got another spot here that is definitely going to be straight track. And we can just assume that this is just gonna come up and turn this corner. Okay, so this is another area. This is gonna come in one door and back out the other, it seems like. So we put that in. So the trick is just gonna be getting those doors open and then figuring out how this works together to get us around that track and back out. So we have two levers left. We actually have five buttons. I, I stuck that one over here. You know what, we should pick that up right now. And it's being invisible for us. <laughs> we should just pick that up before we forget about it. Um, let's see, if we go this way first, we have to kind of come up and circle back down, I think, to go out the exit. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Oh my, this is... That's gonna be the exit. So I think... I think what we're gonna wanna do is go to the right first. And then have that come back somehow. That's gonna have to come back through all of these, isn't it? Okay, let's just put a couple pieces here because this is gonna have to come out a little bit. If it comes, okay. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky for sure. Let's um, put this in like so. Oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't even need to be up that high, does it? We don't need it to go uh, up that high. This is going to use extra pieces of track that we don't need to use up. We still have quite a few corners left and um, a fair number of straight track. That's gonna have to be a zigzag there. Okay, so this is just gonna be a matter of getting buttons in the right spots. And the way that the gates are connected is a little bit crazy. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Um, let's see here. All right, so this is, where is our split track gonna be? I feel like our split track is going to be, let's see. Well, if I could get, <laughs> if I could get the cursor over here. It, it only likes to move where there's track spaces, so. Okay, um, so let's figure out how this part's going to work. If this was a split track here, then we could come up this way. I don't really want to have to go all the way around. Let's see. Let's just see if we can make this work like this. Well, it's a split track can't be on an end. So we won't be able to put it like here or here. This would have to come up and literally go all the way around. And back to here. Okay, which means actually that this wouldn't work. Whoops, I picked up the split track. If the split track was going to be here, then we would need this coming this way. 
but that's using up a lot of pieces. Although we don't really need a super lot of pieces. We, we only have like this little entrance. If I can get the... Sorry, it's hard to move that cursor sometimes. Uh, we just have this little entrance area to figure out um, how he's going to get back and forth. And then we have that area to figure out. We're running out of pieces fast though, so we got to keep an eye on this. Um, so let's see here. If we put some corners here... We can't use a corner piece there either. So I really feel like this is going to have to go all the way around here. Which will mean using this many pieces. Whoops, did the wrong one there. Put that corner back. Okay, so if he comes up, he goes in, he goes around, he goes out the exit. Okay, so we have done that without a lever. Um, now, now we just have to figure out the rest. And I feel like the levers are going to be getting used over in this section here. And I'm not really sure how yet. We still have a lot of corners, and we got to figure out this entrance too, because we need him to come in, go to the right, he's going to do all his circling around, and then come back, and he's got to go to the left. So he has to come this way. which would have to go this way. Would have to be facing this way at the beginning to get him over there. And then it would have to turn three times to get him back, which, you know, he's going through enough track after this that we could definitely make that happen. The thing is, is going to be, does it need more than one lever? down in front of that other set of doors. So let's put this here for now. Oh, we're running out of track, you guys. We're not going to be able to do this. We've definitely got to rethink some of this. And I, I'm sure it's going to be this piece over here. We've got to be able to do that in a shorter way. Right? Let's see, we could use this piece here if it starts this way and we can find a way to get it turned three times before the end so that when it comes back, let's see. One, two, three. It will take take you to the exit. Okay, so is there a place that's going to get passed by three times? And we don't know yet. <laughs> There's a lot of places that are going to get passed by twice. We've got to figure this out too to see how we can get in to get these. We definitely don't have enough track pieces right now, which means however we're doing this is, is going to have to use pieces that we have over here right now. So either we don't have the split track in the right place or we haven't thought of something over here yet. So 
So let's take another look because we do have to come all the way up here to get this ore. And then the key is, yeah, down there behind it. Okay. So we have to be able to come all the way up to the square to get the ore. And be able to get back the other direction. Or another option is to take some of the pieces out of this key area where we said we might not need that many. So it only has to go past the key, so maybe we don't need it to come down this far. We can move this lever um, over to here. That'll be fine. We can still connect it to that piece. And having the shorter circle will still get us the key. That's about as short as we can make it and still get back out. Alright, and that just has to turn to one time, right? Yep. Okay. That gave us a few extra pieces. Okay, and maybe we're overthinking this a little bit too, because if we just circle this through here, oops, that's all the pieces. That goes in and out, and then they just have to go back in and out on the way back through. So now the fun part is going to be getting all the buttons in the right spot. So I think we've got all the pickups covered. Okay, we do have to make sure we get a lever in somewhere that is going to get passed by three times. So let's look for that spot really quickly. Uh, we'll go ahead. This is for the lever right there at the entrance that we need it to turn three times. And let's see, what's a space? If they're going up through here, back down, back around, and back up through here. If we put one Here, say here. They'll pass by it on the way out, they'll pass by it on the way back in, but they won't pass by it a third time. So we really have to find somewhere that they're gonna pass by three times before they get back to the entrance area. So what about in here? They're gonna come through, they're gonna circle around, they're gonna come back out. Hmm, I don't know man, there's like... There's only places that are getting passed twice. Let's see, they're gonna come in, they're gonna pass that, they're gonna... Unless... Unless... We can attract, um, we can attach two levers to that, can't we? Because we only have a, one other space that needed a lever. I think. Let's take a look. Did we need a lever over here? No. It's it's all straight track. Okay, well problem solved then. We just need a place w that gets passed by twice, which this is a place that gets passed by twice. Everywhere is. And then we have to find a place that's only going to get passed once after he gets past that. And I think we can do that like where the key turnaround is should be easy. All right, so we'll just go ahead, you know, we'll put it a little closer. It doesn't really matter. It could go like anywhere along the track that's going to get hit twice. So we'll place it right here and attach it to that little piece. So that one will get pressed twice and then we need to put the other lever oops, down here by the key and he's going to come in, go around the circle, and go back out. So this space should only get past once. 
So we're going to also attach that to that little lever piece at the beginning. So we have two levers attached to it. It should get turned three times. Okay, now buttons. And buttons are going to be the puzzle here, aren't they? Okay, so we need this front gate open. So this is about, these two spaces are like the only ones that he's going to stop at and hit because they're the only ones on the straight track. And he's going to press it on the way back by too. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to make my brain hurt. <laughs> okay, so let's put it here. We're going to attach this to those. Okay, which means when he opens it, the second one's going to close. So there's going to have to be another button. Here. Um, to open this gate. Now, this gate is connected also to the one on the left and the one in the front. Boy, okay. All right, so that's gonna open that back up. Let, let's just work one direction at a time. All right, so that's gonna open that back up. And in the meantime, this one is closed. So we, we're gonna have to have a button to open that one. So let's attach that one. Oh boy. <laughs> to this one. Um, whoops, let's see here. Okay. So then he's coming around. Oh, let's get back to the placements here. Oh, this is going to be so weird. Okay, then he's coming around. He's got to get this one open. So let's place the button here. Attach it. Okay. So this one is going to open all three of those. So for him to press that button on the way back, again, We'll close all three and it won't matter because he won't need to go back through them. The, f the last gate there, this one, is currently open. <laughs> but what was it attached to? So let's go back over here and see what these buttons were attached to. Oh, see, that's going to mess with... That's going to make that one closed, isn't it? Alright, what about this one? That is going to make that one closed. And what does this one do? That's going to make the final one closed. But when they come back by them... Okay, we have one button left. But what we just figured out is that when this button gets pressed, that third gate is getting shut. So we are going to have to have a button that opens that third gate and it's going to have to go here. Okay, I, I think this is going to work. You know what, we're going to give it a trial run and uh, just see how the buttons do and make sure we have everything in the right spots. Okay, so that button opens that one, closes that one. What else is opening and closing here? Okay, that's opening this one and closing the first one. Did anything else open or close? I can't watch them all at once. Okay, that opened one near the end as well. Okay, this one 
is going to open the two in the center here and close the one on the right. He's going to go through. He's going to get the treasure chest. So we get a new little face to use. Duck lips. <laughs> and, whoops. And then a new skin as well. Which is going to be some bright blue. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead. Whoops. And put a check mark on that to keep it. And then we'll move along. So that part's taken care of. Now it's just a matter of are all the buttons in the right spot to get us through here. Okay, so that opened that one. And then he presses it again and it closed it. Okay, so that's evidently not a good place for that button. And also... Also... Uh, one of those buttons needed to have that last gate open, too. So, yikes. <laughs> um, we gotta put this one. Whoops, let's go to this one. It has to be in a place where he's not going to press it twice, so it can't go right there. Okay, why can't I pick that up? Hello? Okay, fine. But I just need to pick it up. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was pressing the wrong button, that's why. Alright, so let's try putting it here. Um, we'll put it in this spot attach it to those so that it doesn't get pressed that second time but we still need something to open that last gate so what is connected to this one not the last gate and what is connected to this one whoops not the last gate well which one is that last gate connected to then is it just closed? And okay, there it is. It's that one. And that one is closing it. Right? Yeah, it's closing it. And then it's not getting opened back up. So is there... Let's see. Let's take this one out. Put it back. And what can we attach it to? We can attach it this way. And if we do that, it'll open that one. Then we might actually need this one to be hit twice again. I told you this was going to make my brain hurt, you guys. Okay. Let's take this one out, and I think <laughs> I think that we are going to need it to be hit twice now. All right, let's try that. Uh, let's make sure that we got our little levered piece turned back to the starting position, because he's not going to get far without that. Okay, let's try it again. Opens the first one, closes the second one. Okay, that's opened. Oh, that opened the one in front of us. So we actually don't need a button there now. Because that closed all three of them again. Okay. <laughs> so now we need to take that button out. Okay. What a mess. All right, let's go down to this button. We don't even need this button here at the moment because that is opening that. So we're gonna have to run this a few times until we figure these buttons out. All right, but if that takes that one out, then we might have to move this one back over again. And we're gonna find out where else we need a button. 
Okay. Let's put our levered piece back to the right position. And run this again. Okay, here he goes. Door is open. opens those three so he can get straight through here okay now this button should open both of these doors so that he can go through the treasure chest area come out the other side there's another button that should just open the one door so he can get down to get the key okay we're, we're on to something now I think our last button is actually going to have to be in that last section where we pick up the ore. Alright, so he's turning that first uh, piece of track and then the one to get him back out. So we're going to circle back around and the button should work in reverse order to get him back through the way that he got through the first time. So we circle around. This will close the doors behind him. Okay. He'll be able to get through these two gates. There we go. Okay. And there's the last turn of the track. So he'll go up the hill, which should open up that gate. Yes. So yeah, we, we need the last button to open up that last piece of gate. So let's go ahead and stop this. And place that last button. Um, and you know what, we'll just put it... Oh no, we don't want to put it down there because he'll, he'll press it twice. <laughs> we'll just put it here. And yeah, that's fine. He'll already be through that gate on the right. Okay, so let's uh, make sure we get... Whoops. Didn't I? Okay. No, 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 no. Dude. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I got the... <laughs> I got the track uh, set wrong, so I, I fixed all the little levered tracks so they're set the right way now, and this should be our final run. So, presses the button to open the first gate. We have another button to get the second, third, and that gate on the far left open make our way through here. We got two buttons here. One of these will open these two doors for us. Which closed that door on the right. So our button on this side is to open that back up. We'll head down the hill and over here to get our key. Now this lever situation <laughs> is going to turn that first track again. We'll grab the key. We'll turn this track to get ourselves out of here. Back up. We'll push these buttons again to do everything in reverse order so we can get back through. That's going to take him through there, through that other open door, and all these doors uh, that's just going to close doors behind us, that button again. So these doors are still open for us. We're going to come on through. Come on through. This button is just going to close doors behind us, which doesn't matter because we're done over there. We're going to give that first track one last turn. This button should open up the door at the top of the hill there. There we go. And then this button should be opening that final gate to the end. And we won't press it again on the way back up because it's on a curve in that direction. So let's grab our ore and get out of here. 
There we go. And out the door. And that's level 13. On to level 14. Okay, here we are, level 14. Friend, I need your help. I can't find my golden shovel. Only with it can I bury the sarcophagi in the deepest chambers to prevent theft. I'm just passing by, but I'll try to help you. Okay, let's take a look here. We have one split track. Six levers and four buttons. Looks like we don't have quite as many gates as the last time, so that's good. I only see... is it four? Yeah, four of them. Okay, we've got quite an incline situation over here. That should be fun. Got our little mine down there. We've got... okay, so this is where the little hamster is that needs our help in this little gazebo or... It's not a gazebo. <laughs> this little structure, let's call it a structure. Which means that we have to get by this shovel before we get to him. And where's our exit this time? There it is. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start out like we normally do, laying down the track that seems non-negotiable. And it looks like this is our only, whoops, our only way through the beginning. Just one little track around this little water feature here to get us over here. Let's get some corners on that. We don't want to forget them. Six levers, huh? That should be fun. Okay, we do have a doorway here, and it looks like we've got an incline up to it, and that's going to have to go a little bit sideways, I think, because we don't have room to come down straight. So let's put a little curve here, and then we'll get our incline going down. And then we just need to make that corner. So that's our beginning, guys. That part was pretty easy. Let's see what we have to do next. All right, looks like we'll, this part's pretty straightforward. I'm trying to get the best view here through the palm trees. Okay, so this gate is open, but this gate is closed, and I am guessing that the two are going to be connected. So let's go ahead and put in a button to open that first gate. And we can't put it... We can't put it down here because... Uh, that would get hit twice. And that's the only spot. Because those two are in next to an incline, they wouldn't hit it there. So we're going to have to put this button up here at the beginning. And then go ahead and connect it to that gate. Okay, so those two are connected, which means that when we open that first one, it's going to close the second one. So we're going to have to know, have, excuse me, <laughs> another button here to open the second gate again. Oh, and then it, let's see, they're both open right now. That one will be closed. This will open it, but it will close the other one. Ah. Okay. Well, that means we're going to have to have another button in this section. Alright, let's see what we have to do here. It kind of looks like we're going to be doing some circling back somewhere. So, what we need here... And we don't have to get that key until we're coming back. So let's see here. We know we need these pieces. Oh, actually, you know what? That is incorrect. This is an incline. We have quite a few incline pieces. Actually, we have more boosters than inclines right now. I don't know why I just put in a booster right there. Um, so that's interesting. We might have to do some building up stuff 
up around uh, that funny hill over there. Okay, we're just gonna put this like here, here for now. Uh, but it seems like we are gonna have to go back through here. Somehow. Okay, and this is what we need to do. We have to go get the shovel before we pass by the hamster. So when we come out of this gate, we're gonna be going to the right. To the left, I'm sorry. If you're coming out of the gate, it'll be to your left. Um, and we have to... Okay, so we're gonna have to come down, go up, get the shovel, come down, get the ore, go back up past the hamster, and then... and then get back out somehow. So we know we have to go this way. And so... It makes sense that this piece is going to be one of our levered pieces. So if it goes this way in the beginning, it's going to need that three turns to get us back out when we come back. So we're going to have to make sure that we set three turns on that. We'll be coming back up this way. And we do have that split track somewhere. Okay, so this over here looks like this is going to require a levered piece as well. So how do we do that so we only need one turn? It turns clockwise. Alright, so we want to come in this way and then turn it this way to get back out. So let's just go as close as we can here to save pieces. Corners if we're not careful. Okay, so that's only going to need one turn. We can go ahead and put a lever in for that. It's going to be one that's only going to pass by once, and if he's going around the circle, that should be fine for this. So we're going to attach that one to that, and then it should turn to the right and get us back out. Okay, so that part, <laughs> that part's figured out. Um, okay, so what's next? How do we get up there and back out is the next question. So I feel like we will try to do this first. Without using any levers or anything because a lot of times that's what we need okay so if we're coming down whoops down this way we want to get we're okay we're gonna be coming down right here Okay, if we put, let's just take a look at this. <laughs> if we put the split track right here and we come down, it takes us around past the ore, we come back out, we go up the hill, turn around, then when we come back down, it'll just take us back around past the mine again, which is fine. And then we'll be going up the same way that we came down. Which seems okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we, um... Hmm. Well, if we're going to be going back up the way we came, then maybe we don't need a turning lever right outside that door. Let's see what pieces we end up with here. All right, let's build up our little, I think this is gonna take some interesting work here because one each isn't gonna do it, right? No, 
that's going to need another one, and that's going to need one, and that's going to need one. In order to get all the way down there. Oh boy. Okay. Then we gotta have this coming down. We're running out of pieces fast. Let's see, that's gonna be a corner, that's gonna be a corner, and this is okay. This is also going to be some inclines here. So let's see what we have to do for this. I think we have to build that one up too. And this one one. So that's actually going to be an incline. And then we'll have two more straight pieces here. You guys, I think that we're not going to have to have a lever here. I think that we'll just be able to go back out the way we came in. I think. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay. Uh, do we have one more incline piece? Yes, we do, because I just noticed that where we have this incline down here needs one more piece. Okay, so that leaves us with ten corners and four straight pieces. Um, and we do need some corners down in this section to get us back out of here. Okay, you know that old saying... Keep it simple. <laughs> um, I think that's going to work well for us in this instance. Okay, so we are going to need a button somewhere to get that last door open. And I think it can be anywhere along this way. Let's see if he's going to come down, go past there, and go back up. I think it'll be safe to put this button. Whoops. Oh, am I hitting the wrong... No, I'm not hitting the wrong button. Why am I... Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. I couldn't choose the button for a second there. Okay, is this part flat? He only has to go up through that door once, so... If he presses the button there, he won't press it again on the way back. And if he presses it on his way back through, it won't matter because it'll be already um, done and dealt with. Okay. So there is one button left, which makes me think that we've missed a button push somewhere. So we're going to have to think about this again. Let's just take a look here. Uh, this first button is going to open this first door and close the second one. Okay, so we'll get through the first door, and then we have a button here that's going to open the second one, and it will close that one. Alright, so we need our last button in, in this space. That is what we need. And we need it in a spot where it's going to get pushed on the way back as well. So let's go ahead and put it... Whoops, <laughs> not right there. Uh, let's go ahead and put it right inside this door. Oh no, did I just take out? I think I just took out that one too. All right, so let's uh, connect these back up. Whoops. What did I just do? <laughs> I pushed the wrong button, that's what I did. All right, and then we will, no, I pushed the wrong button again. All right, we'll connect that one to that one, okay. So now all we have to figure out is how to get around, get this key, and get back out of here. Which... Let's see... If we do this... going to work. Let's see, when we're coming back, then we have to be able to... Okay, 
Okay, we need it to take us, like, straight across the first time. We have to pick up the key either on the way there or on the way back. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We do have five levers left. I, I hope we're not going to have to use all five of them right here. Um, let's see here. Let's just think for a second. We have an awful lot of pieces left for this one little area. Did we get everything over here? I mean, I really feel like we did. I think we did. There was one other puzzle where we had pieces left over at the end. Oh, you know what? Do we need to... I wonder if you can go by that little hamster guy on the way there and back. Because if... Hmm. Okay, well, let's just try something here. We're gonna do a trial run uh, to test out our button situation and to just see if we if we can give him that on on the way back. Otherwise, we might have to change that track up a little bit. All right, we'll just double check to make sure all our buttons are working in the meantime. So that did open the gate that we have to go through first and close the second one. Test run. Okay, so we're through that gate. Now we're gonna push a button get through the second one, which is going to close the third one. And our button for that one disappeared. But that's going to open it up and get us through. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm sorry I couldn't bring your golden shovel, but I'll try again later, okay? Ah, oh, how unfortunate, but I appreciate it if you could try again. It would help me a lot if you could find it. Okay. So that answers that. <laughs> so we do have to find a way uh, to go to the right first. So we are going to need some levers over here. Man, I thought we were being so smart. <laughs> All right, so we do have this one. Uh, we're gonna need to go to the right first. And then it has to do the three piece turn. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're gonna go to the right, which means that we also are going to, oh no, are we out of straight track now? That's not good. Um, well, well, well. <laughs> That's a deep subject. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to, we're going to steal one from here because I think this is going to have to be one of those little corner pieces that turns. I think we just need the one. So let's get that piece in place, which means that this one is gonna need to start out in that position and that one only has to turn once. So we can actually put the lever for that. Ooh, somewhere that he's only gonna pass by one time. You know what? I think we're going to have to put it up here. That's about the only spot I can think of that he's only going to pass by once. So we're going to connect that. Oops. Come on. To this one. And that's the one that only needs to turn one time. Now we do have... Oops. Let's get a corner in there that piece it's going to need to turn three times so we need we need three turns for that 
so we're coming down this way. And you know what? We're not going to go back up that way. So I think that we can put one of the levers here. So he can turn it right after he gets by there. Uh, whoops, come on, it's this piece. Okay, and then the second one needs to be turned twice. So I think we can put that here because he's going to go down and then he's going to come back up. So he'll turn it once on the way down and once on the way up. So let's connect that one also to this piece. Okay, now we're left with two corners and two levers. And I... <laughs> I think we've got everything else covered except for this little puzzle right here. So we gotta figure out how in the four corners <laughs> we're gonna get this key. Um, let's see here. If we have one here, one here, whoops, one here. and one here. <laughs> Is that gonna work? Okay, let's just think about this for a second. That will get us out and it will get the key. The question is, can that little combination get us, if, let's see. If that's turned that's turned I don't see how it would hmm all right let's think for a second Okay, what if we, because that's the end of an incline, so like this piece right here is the first flat one, because the rest of that is, yeah, going up. All right, so what if we take these, we take our corners and go kind of this way? But that's not getting us past the key, is it? All right, hold on. Take these back out. But there's only two more corners left. So it would have to be like right out of this. Mm, that's not gonna work either. these here and these here that doesn't leave enough straight pieces to get through and we haven't really used any pieces like frivolously anywhere maybe right there a little bit but you you have to don't you 
No, maybe not. Okay, hold on. Um, let's go... <laughs> let's go up here. Maybe we don't have to do this whole little... Uh, whoops. Thing right here. And we can just turn right at the top and go straight in there, right? Is that going straight in there? Yeah, okay. So that gives us a couple extra pieces. Maybe, sort of. <laughs> okay, what can we do with that? I really feel like... Because we would need to have this here, this here, and this here. And then all we have left is three curves? That's definitely not working. But... If... We don't need to go down that far... Do we think that this needs to be the split track? I always forget that we can put a straight track. How would that work though? If we had this, if that went that way, you can't turn a curved track into a straight. Wait a minute. Is this is this a flat piece? Yes. Okay. What if it came <laughs> this way? Oh my goodness, this is so confusing. This part Okay, so say this gets us out of here. When it came back in, you would have to have this one facing this way. And then that could go that way. Okay, that leaves one piece of straight track left over. But I think think that's okay. All right, so if he if we're going down that way and coming back up this way, this whole row right here only gets passed by once. So let's take this lever. How many times does that little piece have to turn? This piece has to turn. 1 2 3. Okay. So then we need this one that's gonna get gone by once and we're attaching it to this piece. And then we need another lever where it's gonna get passed by twice. Or four times? Four times would work too, right? Where did I just put that? I don't know, wherever it was I need to pick it back up. Okay, um, because I'm thinking if we put it like in one of these spaces, he's gonna go by it twice or as he goes around this little circle, once on one side and once on the other, but then he's gonna go around the circle again. So that's hitting it twice and then twice more, so it's the same thing as twice. But maybe we can just put it, no, because that part is fully inclined, fully inclined. We could just put it on this spot. Wait, did I just pick up a corner? <gasps> oh no, where did I pick up a corner? Oh man, okay, <laughs> hold on. Let's put our corner back, I accidentally picked up a corner. All right, now we have to reattach this to that. All right, all we're trying to figure out is where we need to put 
that last uh, lever before we get back there. So we need a place that's going to get passed by twice. And I think that this spot will do because he's going to pass it coming down and then he's going to pass it coming back. All right, so let's try that. So we're going to attach that one also to, whoops, where'd it go? Sometimes it's really hard to get that cursor where you want it. Get, get over there, thank you. Um, it's, a, it's this piece. Okay, I think we have it. There's one straight piece of track left over, but I don't see any empty spots. So I think... I think we're okay. Let's run it and find out. Alright, open the gates. Pass the water feature. Up the hill. <laughs> All right, through door number one, let's open up door number two. We should be picking up the key now. Got it. We open up door number three, which will stay open. Okay, I have no idea what that just turned. Okay, it turned the one where we just came out of there. Oh, well, you know what? I don't know what he's turning. That should open the gate up here, which it did. All right, and that lever we just passed was was turning uh, the one inside the little block over there. And he'll turn it again on the way back down. All right, so we've gotten up the big hill. We're coming in. And this one turns our way back out. We got the shovel. That turns our way to the little hamster that we have to give the shovel to. Alright, and then this lever is going to turn our little piece. Oh, I don't know what that did. I think that just closed the last door. Okay, and that should be getting turned one more time. And that, I think, just opened up the end way for us there to get back out of this room. Here's your golden shovel. I think now you will be able to reach the deepest chambers. Okay, and then this next lever. Thank you very much, traveler. Now I can rest assured that the sarcophagi will not be looted. So this next lever should make the last turn right there. There we go. Our door is still open. We're going to close it. It doesn't really matter because we're on our way out of here. And that is level 14 finished. So thank you guys so much for joining me today for a couple more levels of Hamster on Rails. Here is what we will be figuring out. When we come back for level 15, make sure you subscribe if you want to see how we work our way out of this mess. <laughs> Please hit that like button and maybe leave me a comment. And if you like these sort of games, be sure to subscribe so you can catch the next episode of Hamster on Rails. We'll see you then. Have a beautiful day, everyone.